Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Back again for the Wrestling Mayhem Show, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, at Mayhem Show on Twitter. And we're back again for another 30 days of WrestleMania. And today we're going to be looking at the fantastic, this is where I, I, it's really hitting its stride. It, it's beyond and it's back to form. WrestleMania X7. Uh, this year, uh, going back to Texas, I think it was Houston, we have a problem, was the uh, subline of this. Uh, headline was, of course, The Rock in Austin Part 2. And we got that three times in a main event at WrestleMania's. Um, again, big arenas, big stadiums. This started what we know now for WrestleMania. 68,000 people. Um, I, hell, when I was at MetLife a couple years ago for 29, it was about 80-some thousand people. In Incredible, absolutely incredible. It feels so much bigger. This is WWE. This is the victory lap for WWE at this point. WCW was just purchased less than a week before this happened. Um, I, you couldn't get any better than this. The gimmick battle royal. We had Bobby the Brain Heenan and a Mean Gene at, at ringside. That was that was just great. Uh, the first iteration of The Undertaker as the uh, biker dead man, as I like to say. Uh, his first match with Triple H, which I think we got two more later on. Um, just a tremendous show up and down. Um, everybody had a spot. You, they're still in that phase. Of course, we ended with the giant heel turn for Steve Austin. Um, like Looking at this, it started, started with Chris Jericho and William Regal. For the Intercontinental Championship. Tremendous. Um, I mean, it, it showed that wrestling, like wrestling itself was at the forefront here. Um, and we're getting a little bit further away from the trash and the shock TV that that you even saw creep into WrestleMania. Um, I mean, the closest you got was the... Uh, <laughs> no, no, actually, no, this wasn't the hardcore. I see Taz and I automatically think it was the hardcore uh, championship. But no, they actually had a three-way with Kane, Big Show, and, and Raven. It was one of those great classic uh, hard work, hardcore championships where they had some kind of room that they built in the background in the in the backstage that they just threw each other through. Tremendous and golf carts and inv were involved. I think it's two years in a row that golf carts were involved with the uh, the hardcore championship. Um, a really really fun stuff. And of course, um, uh, China as women's champion. Um, you got to see you know what, what was going on there. Um, you know, she was really, really coming up and really on top of things uh, uh, in this time period. Uh, TLC, of course, again with the Dudleys, Edge and Christian, and uh, the Hardys, um, and just felt so much bigger. Uh, everything did. Um, it was, oh, there's a coming up Hall of Famer uh, Bushwhacker. I don't know. I can't tell them apart. I know. I know this action figure is Luke, at least. Um, but anyways, uh, it, it, it's, again, like, WrestleMania, true to form, big stadiums, um, and we're getting back into it, uh, into into the grandeur of it all. I believe they started calling it the Showcase of the Immortals um, on a regular basis at this point around around this WrestleMania, and um, it's uh, it's it's really interesting, and I'm really. Uh, I'm really, it's really cool to get into this uh, segment of our WrestleManias. Now we're going through the 2000s and kind of remembering like where we went there. So uh, let me know. What do you think? A WrestleMania X7. Thankfully, we only did this for X thing for about uh, uh, three WrestleManias. Uh, I guess four because we went XX for uh, WrestleMania 20. Anyways. Let me know what you thought of WrestleMania X7 at Mayhem Show on the Twitter or comments to this video. And check out all the great stuff going over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.